Have you ever asked the question or thought to yourself, what is awakening? And why in the world would I want to awaken? I want to give a shout out to Kaylee for asking this question. And it's in this video I'm going to respond to that question. And not only tell you what awakening really is, but why you will want to give all of your being to this pursuit. You see, awakening is, in its most simple and pure state, the letting go of all ideas, concepts, pictures you have of what God is, and all ideas, concepts, beliefs, and pictures you have about who you are. And it's in this moment that an awakening occurs because you're no longer blinded by your concepts of self. You're no longer blinded or restricted by your beliefs of the self or by your beliefs of God. I've said this many times. God has never needed you to believe in Him to be God. He has never needed this. Nor have you ever needed to believe in yourself to be you. If somebody smacked you in the head right now and you ended up in amnesia, who would you be? Really, what would you be? Who would you be? I'm going to tell you right now, in that state, you would be closer to your original state than you've ever been. The only other time you've been this close to awakening is when you were first born. And it was so easy. And it was effortless. And you just was like, Mama! Mama! And you just laid around, sucking on the tit, and enjoying life. And then over the course of time, you began to develop all these beliefs about yourself. And you were told, this is who you are. They gave you a name. And you were told, you, this, is, this is who you are. And they gave you a religious structure, a religious set of beliefs. You're a Christian. You're a Muslim. You're a Jew. You're an atheist. You're whatever. And then they gave you, uh, they told you, you're white. You're black. You're Asian. You're Latino. Then they told you, you're male or female. Then they began to tell you all of these things. And layer after layer after layer after layer of belief got heaped upon you. And you unknowingly began to carry all of those beliefs and ideas and concepts but you didn't realize that they were all such a burden and you didn't realize that each and every one of them it was as if you were building this little life and around that life to protect that life you have to build up all these boundaries and you have to create all these walls to make sure that this little life is safe and it's those very identities that make you want to fight you know if you're a manly man and someone come up and be like you're a little bitch and all of a sudden you're like what you go after him. I'm not no bitch. Come on. It's because you're trying to identify somebody insulted or violated the boundary. They violated your identity. Now, I know that you've been told you need to discover who you are. I'm telling you, you need to let go of who you are. And in letting go of who you are, you begin to discover, not intellectually, but in awareness, what you have always been. This is very simple, and in a nutshell, that is awakening. It's union, it's perfection, it's oneness with the entire universe. In 2010, I had an experience in which it felt as if my entire being had been saturated with the universe, with God. And it had been as if I merged with God and God merged with me. I didn't know where I began and where God ended and where God began and I ended. I was one with everything. When I looked around, I saw a butterfly flying through the air and being moved by the wind. I was both in the wind and in the butterfly, in the tree branches as they moved through the wind. And I didn't know where I began or where I ended and what was up and what was down. The truth of the matter was I was I typically would just be found. I could hardly walk. 
I had to be helped around. I could hardly walk. I was stumbling about, peeing my pants at times. Literally, I think I peed my pants like six fucking times because I was just out of my mind in this beautiful state of ecstasy and bliss and joy. And it was almost as if I was so born again that I had to learn how to function all over again, how to walk again, how to talk again. And this was uh, just one of many, 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 many experiences that I had. And yet I'm here to tell you right now that those experiences aren't the truest point of awakening. As a matter of fact, in awakening, it's as if you transcend experience altogether so that then you can animate the form or the avatars that you're animating and play or have the experience. See, as long as you're still having an experience, you're still identified as a mind or a body. But when you realize you are the experience playing in the form, now awakening comes. Awakening impacts every aspect of your existence. You're driving your car, you're impacted. When you're going to get your mail, it's impacted. From raising children and doing dishes, picking up dog shit, whatever it is that you're doing, you do it in a state of bliss, in a state of joy, in a state of ecstasy. This is an awakened being. An awakened being doesn't know that they're an awakened being. They don't care if they're awakened being or not. They're just existing in an effortless state of bliss. I've spent over 10 years now living in an effortless state of bliss. How there have been once or twice here and there where the mind wants to creep in and get a little upset or a little offended. And in those moments you go, oh man, so easy. Now, why would you want to awaken? Because the more you awaken, the more you fucking play. When you awaken, the more you awaken to who you really are beyond the form, the more you're able to animate that form, I call the avatar, to play in this beautiful world that I often reference as the playground. This world is your playground. And when you awaken to the reality of what you are, you now get to animate that form to play on that playground. Instead of carrying shame in your body, you carry joy in your body. Instead of carrying stress in your body, you carry rest in your body. Instead of carrying anxiety in your body, you carry perfect peace in your body. This is awakening. And it's fun. Do you want to have fun? Do you want to experience bliss? Do you want to experience the high life? Like I'm not talking about a temporal high that you get from smoking a little marijuana or ecstasy or some drug usage. I'm talking about a perma high, like a perpetual high existence where you just live and you're moving from one high to the next high to the next high. And you're not trying to. It's just an effortless expression, an effortless existence that's happening in the body and the mind. It's so easy and so beautiful. This is awakening. This is why I knew you would want to awaken. This is why when I when I answered this question, as I'm answering this question to you, Kaylee, I know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, you want to not only give a little bit of yourself to awakening, but you want to give all of yourself to awakening. Because when you begin to taste, <laughs> when you begin to taste, even if it's just a little taste of what I experience in this mind and body on a daily basis, you will give absolutely all your energy and everything to awakening. You'll throw caution to the wind. You'll say the heck with the nine to five grind, the heck with all these other things. I don't need the next best thing. I just want more of this reality. I just want to live in a greater sense of this peace, of this rest, of this bliss. That's what awakening is. And this is why I knew you would want to give all of yourself to this awakening. I want to share one little secret with you. There are many people that will tell you that to awaken, you have to spend years and years and years in meditation or in prayer or fasting. Don't buy the hype. Don't buy the shit. It's just a bunch of bullshit. Awakening is always found right now. You will never one day awaken. Awakening is always now. In this eternal moment, there is grace for you now to cast off all the things that you've believed and thought about yourself and begin to taste and experience the reality of your divine union with God and all things. So right now, there's grace here for you. It doesn't matter whether it takes 30 years of moments, but right now, It'll never be a one day. As long as you think one day you awaken, you won't. But when you realize that the now is an ever unfolding eternal moment, you can begin to recognize I'm awakening now. I tell my students all the time, you both arrived and will be arriving forever. You have what you are, who you really are doesn't need to awaken. And so uh, you're both 
You have both awakened and will be awakening forever in body and mind. So I just want to leave you with that. I want to leave you with some love today. I love you. You are powerful and beautiful, and I love you. And I hope that you give all of yourself to this awakening journey, to this beautiful spiritual journey that impacts not only everything of your own existence, but it will impact everything of everyone's existence that comes in contact with you. Give all of yourself to it. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I would love to I would love to engage with you in some conversation. I love you. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play. Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and do me a favor. Subscribe to our video, like and comment whatever questions you have so that I can respond to those questions in future videos. Hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. Remember, you are loved and valued.